features of export management. We are going to discuss about export management. Here certain uh, thoughts to be think in your mind about export management. There must be efficiently to increase the export volume of trade and simultaneously exporters should get more profit and also in return importers should also get more profit and also satisfaction. Uh, while going for export management there must be a statistical planning, organizing, coordinating and controlling all activities related to export of goods and services to other countries from our domestic country. Likewise, there are several aspects to be pointed out that prior to tourism and the various activities to be followed in the uh, exports of goods and services from one country to another country. Here uh, we have to think about export marketing next to export management. Here comes a definition by an author uh, B.S. Rauter. Export marketing includes the management of marketing activities for products across the national boundary or a country. And here we are going to discuss with the features of uh, export management. There are several uh, points to be discussed. And first and foremost uh, important point here is to be discussed is first point is systematic procedure and process. We can see this as a it's a systematical process. The export manager undertakes various marketing activities such as marketing research, product design, branding, packaging, pricing, promotion, etc. All these aspects require collection of data, analysis of data, then it should be interpreted with the data in order to take systematically export marketing decisions and the next point we are going to discuss is uh, large uh, scale operations here it involves uh, a large scale marketing and a production operation of goods and services so that the firm gets the benefit of economics of scale and increased profit margin import from other countries also prefer in place large orders simultaneously we go for uh, uh, dominancy of multinational corporation it, uh, it needs a huge investment and conduct of business operation all over the world. Major share of foreign trade is captured by MNCs and TNCs. TNCs is nothing but uh, transnational corporations. Therefore, they dominate in export management activities throughout the world. And next point we are going to discuss is domination of development countries. Most of the companies uh, are from countries like uh, USA, Japan, Germany and so to produce and sell good quality of goods at a low cost on massive scale with the help of advanced technology in which the rich and developed countries always dominate the international business activities. And here I go for the fifth point is trade barrier. Uh, while exporting trade, uh, there, is, there are several uh, trade barriers like tariff and non-tariff barriers. And by the way, there are another one is trading blocks. Export trade is subject to trade blocks or the association of countries situated in a particular region whereby they come to a common understanding regarding rules and regulations to be followed while exporting and importing goods and among them. For example, the European Union, the North American Free Trade Association that is a NAFTA or comes under trading blocks for the satisfying level of moving goods from one country to another country with these trade blocks. And uh, it's a very important aspect is that next one is advanced uh, technology. Export marketing is highly competitive and exporters should be able to sell quality articles at competitive price. Use of advanced computer in technology must make the goods globally competitive so that uh, there are several to be things in a different manner. And about uh, foreign exchange regulations, it's a very important uh, aspect of feature in regarding uh, export uh, regulations imposed by different countries. It relates to payment and collection of export proceeds. In addition to that, export marketing is subject to other rules and regulations related to health and safety, environmental protections, and uh, etc. All such regulations affect the free movement of goods among the countries. The next point we are going to discuss.
is about uh, globalization or pricing the country foreign trade is the need of each country to uh, help globally to export goods and services from at the global level and next to that uh, diverse uh, customs and uh, traditions the export markets differ in languages customs and traditions therefore the exporter may not be able to cope up with this diversity therefore he has to be selective he has to deal with uh, such markets where he can easily handle or overcome such differences or diversities and next to point is high amount of risk is involved uh, in the business and the profitable also very risky uh, however such a uh, amount of risk is to be overcome here such as cancellation of an order non cancellation of documents non payment of uh, transport risk foreign regulation risk and this risk to be reduced by various uh, uh, formats so that uh, the high risk can be overcome and uh, the last uh, documentation formalities in this uh, slide is about uh, discussing about documentation formalities uh, export while or export marketing it's a subject to various documentation formalities the exporters require various documents to be submit them to various uh, authorities including customs officer port trust and etc the documents including bill of lading commercial consular invoice shipping bill they have to maintain certificate of origin shipping bill and so on and the next uh, point here we are going to discuss is uh, international marketing uh, that is uh, research uh, while uh, export the goods from one country to another country they have to they have to know the knowledge about customers dealers and competitors those who are uh, in the domestic market and also in the export market and next to that we are going to discuss is marketing mix it's nothing but it's required the right marketing mix for the target market that is exporting the right uh, product at the right place at the right place with the right promotion the exporter can adapt different marketing mixes from different export markets and finally we are going to discuss three phased competitions as one of the most uh, important features of export management that is about foreign trade market is highly competitive in nature the competition is three dimensional first dimension is about uh, competition from indian exporters and next dimension is about competition from local producers of importing country and third competition dimension is about uh, competition from exporter of other nations so by the way we are able to discuss uh, the features of export management uh, in a deliberate manner so if there is any queries you can contact by this uh, mail id so that we can discuss and finally we can go ahead thank you